Summertime and the living's easy. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker bringing you guys my top five summer sippers. Let's get into it. Your drinking buddy posted a video last week on his top five summer sipping whiskeys. And for me today, I'm bringing you guys my top five summer sippers. But before we get into my top five summer sippers, I wanna challenge two specific channels. I wanna challenge Kurt over at SLB Basement Drinking Bar, see what his top five bourbons are and whiskeys for his summer sippers. And I also wanna uh, challenge the minor bros. They both do awesome, awesome stuff. Make sure you guys check out their channels down below along with your drinking buddy. But let's get right on into it. Let's get into the rules and get into the bottles. Rule number one is that it has to be 100 proof or less. Rule number two was that it had to be a low rye mash bill or no rye at all. I'm being a little bit more specific on my bottles and saying that it has to be 10% rye or less or none at all. And rule number three, it must be obtainable for nearly everybody. Now, not everybody can get most of these, some of these bottles, but that's in specific locations. Let's get into my bottle. Bottle number one is going to be none other than Elijah Craig Small Batch. This stuff right here, sitting at 94 proof, brings everything you want in a nice summer sipper. Those caramels, a little bit of toasted marshmallow, the nice smooth vanillas and caramels. It's just a fantastic bottle and I absolutely love it. This is a really, really good one on ice and you can't go wrong with a nice fat ice cube with a Elijah Craig small batch. Let's get into bottle number two. Bottle number two is going to be my first weeded bourbon of the lineup and that is going to be your Larceny small batch sitting at 92 proof. This is some really, really good stuff right here and I absolutely love mixing a nice old fashioned with this guy. Brings out a nice warm vanilla, a little bit of a banana bread coming out of this guy as well. And this right here is really good juice for the money. It's sitting right at $28 some places. Some places are a little bit more, maybe hitting that $30 mark. But I absolutely love your Larceny small batch. Let's get into bottle number three. Bottle number three is going to be Mellow Corn. Now this bottle right here is front and center on whether people love it or people hate it. This is a 90% corn mash with the other 10% being mixed rye and malted barley. So this is a perfect, perfect summer sipper. It's got those nice sweet corn notes in there, a little bit of banana, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of char. This stuff right here is fantastic. Sitting it right at 100 proof bottled in bond. I don't think you can go wrong with this bottle. It's fantastic stuff for the money. Yes, you're not getting those bold flavors, but typically out of a corn whiskey, you're not going to get that. Now, I do know that a lot of people don't like this and I don't know why. Maybe it's because they think it's a little thin it is a little thin. It's not an old whiskey at all. But for a summer sipper, I think that this stuff right here hits the nail on the head. And it's just an all-around great summer sipper. Let's get into the next bottle. Bottle number four is going to be one that some people might not be able to find. But I myself can go into one out of two liquor stores and find this on the shelf close to MSRP. And it's none other than Eagle Rare. This is Buffalo Trace's mash bill number one, so it is the low rye mash bill. They don't let us know what the percentages are. I don't know why, they're very, very secretive. But this stuff right here is fantastic juice. I personally think that this is a better summer sipper than your traditional Buffalo Trace, only because Buffalo Trace itself, I get a, a, a lot of dark cherry and I get a, a lot of oak, but out of Eagle Rare, I get a lot of citrus notes, which I really find pleasant for the summertime. I find a lot of orange, a little bit of lemon peel, and some soft vanillas in there as well. That's why I have this bottle up on the chopping block. Bottle number five, last bottle. Last bottle I have is one more weeded bourbon and that is the Wilderness Trail Weeded Mash Bill. You guys know how much I love this bottle. I think it's just as good as the Weller Antique 107. Might not be as good, but it's right up there. 
but this guy right here, I get some really, really nice soft vanillas, a nice caramel, a little bit of uh, brown sugar as well, which is really, really nice. Sitting at 100 proof bottled and bond as well, it is right there at that 100 proof mark that we can't go over. But this bottle right here is so, so good. Like a lot of weeded bourbons, I get a little bit of a banana note. I get a little bit of an orange note as well. This stuff right here, if you really want to be specific, I really think I find a nice banana bread with some toasted walnuts on top. Really, really good stuff. But that's going to do it for my five bottles. Going through the bottles one more time, we have your Elijah Craig small batch sitting right at that 10% rye that we can't go over that I don't think we should be going over. Bottle number two, we have a weeded bourbon larceny small batch at 92 proof. Mellow corn at 100 proof being a corn whiskey with 10% rye malted barley mixture and 90% corn. Eagle Rare being Buffalo Trace's number one mash bill at the low rock. Really, really good with those oranges and uh, lemon notes. And then finally, one more weeded bourbon, the Wilderness Trail 100 Proof Bottled in Bond. And then also, check out your drinking buddy. He brings awesome stuff to the table. Right now, he is doing a weeded bourbon um, extravaganza pretty much. He's bringing out every single weeded bourbon pretty much on the market and putting it to the test to see which one is number one. I myself have an idea on weeded bourbons as well. I don't have as many as him. I will be doing a nice challenge with weeded bourbons as well. But make sure you check out both of their channels. They will be linked down in the description below. But until next time, guys, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers. Cheers.